perhaps a much closer game than anybody anticipated. Uh, England is number four in the world and Haiti, this was their first ever world match game, their 53rd. So I think a lot of people thought that England would come in perhaps with a higher score, 1-0, a lot of close opportunities for both sides. Uh, but in the end, strong defence on both sides. And as you said, the only goal that we got was towards the end of the second half, that penalty kick from Georgia Stanway. Uh, you can see people are starting to come out now. There's been a great deal of excitement here in Brisbane about this, uh, not only with English and British expats coming along, but also with many Australians uh, who are supporting the Lionesses. So the crowds are starting to come out now. The next game for England will be in Sydney next week against uh, Denmark. Uh, Serena Vigman will be very happy with the performance of her team. She was never discounting how Haiti would go. She said yesterday that they were an unpredictable team, athletic and opportunistic. And I think we saw that on display here tonight. Uh, over the last few days, there's been a, a lot of fan gatherings here in Brisbane. We were at some of them earlier on, and many people have travelled from the UK to watch England play. And the England team had been training close to here on the Sunshine Coast, so they've sort of managed to enter the hearts of many Australians. Uh, they've seen the lionesses out on the beaches uh, in between their training sessions meeting koalas and kangaroos and really enjoying their best Australian life. But as we know, they'll be heading off to Sydney soon to continue their dream of becoming World Cup champions.